from your perspective, what are the top three reasons men end a relationship with their women? Um, most, I would say, number one, lack of respect. Hmm. So that, that goes to, like I said, men want to feel loved. Uh, but oftentimes are the giver of love and nobody really focus, not nobody, not a lot of people focus on men receiving. So uh, if there's a lack of respect, he may pull the trigger on that one. If it feels like he doesn't, he's, he's going to lose, he's not going to lose his children. Right. So uh, that would be reason number one. I would say lack of intimacy. Uh, people mm -hmm. can say sex, but she can lie there like a Carl Jr. star and he can pump her five strokes. It don't mean that he got sex from her. He's out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Most of the prostitute prostitution oriented sex is in marriage. But with that being said, um, if he does get a couple of uh, pity duty sexes out of his wife, doesn't yeah. mean he got anything. So you're so, saying yeah, that there's a quality. difference between sex and intimacy. Absolutely. Intimacy. I mean, you know, guys, guys are looking for intimacy. And sometimes yeah. it's better to pay somebody for some intimacy than to get it from your own wife. I mean, he's not wrong on, on every single thing. Um, a lot of times when it comes to sex, when you're in an unhappy relationship or something like that, it's just like, okay, get it over with. You, okay, come on, come on, guy, get it over with. And there's no, like, affection, there's no love, there's there's nothing. Because a lot of times women are completely uh, checked out from that. Um, you know, as far as the, the respect, I mean, that it's number one because that's the main thing. I mean, if you don't feel like you're respected by the person that you're with as a guy, there really is no need to actually be with her. For what? Because if she doesn't respect you, there's no point. If you have children, she they're watching your, your wife, your spouse, girl, whatever it is, uh, disrespect you. You know, what's the point in that? You, you're just living a miserable existence. And you're just waiting around for what the occasional sexual escapade that's not going to have any kind of intimacy and it's not going to mean anything. That's what happens. That's what happens in a lot of re relationships because women tend to look at uh, things that they should do in relationships for their husband or whatever as chores. You know, I don't want to do that today. I don't want to wash dishes today. I don't want to have sex today. I don't want to do anything that you're asking me to do today. I don't want to do that chore today instead of looking at it as uh, uh, you're in a committed, committed relationship and that's your duty. Just like it's a man's duty to, to, to provide and protect. It's a woman's duty to do things for men. The top thing on men's mind is sex. And that's, that's for all of us. That's what we were meant to think about is procreation. We can't change that. If you have a problem with that, then you need to talk to the man upstairs or whatever higher power that you believe in. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of times women get bored in relationships. They're not excited anymore. So they start pulling, pulling away. They start playing games. They don't respect you. They don't want to give you the bare minimum of, of things that you, you know, that you ask for respect sex they got to play that game because even in a marriage women know that sex is power same power that they have if they're not in a marriage they're not in a committed relationship women use sex as power and they use disrespect as manipulation because the thing is is that if you get with the woman and you're a strong guy and it's not all women obviously but too many of them are like this if you get with the woman, you meet her and you're a strong, capable guy, dominant, uh, very masculine and all that. For a lot of women, their goal is to break you from that. Their goal is to make you the submissive one, to make you the weak one. So how are they going to do that? They're going to manipulate you with words that come out of their mouth, which can be very disrespectful, or they're going to pull sex away. I got a headache. I worked a long day at work. All these things. Well, guys have headaches. They work long days at work. They had to do something with the kid or something like that. But they still pay the bills. They still protect you. They still do what they're supposed to do. But women like to play a lot of manipulation games. And they start out with the disrespect. And then it, you know, goes into the sex or it's at the same time. So, you know... A guy is going to take that for a while. And then eventually, you know, strong guys are just going to be like, I'm out for what? 
I'd rather be single and by myself than to be in a marriage and take this shit. 